All right, thank you. Um, can't see that. Okay. Um, thank you for the opportunity to present. Thanks for coming, everybody. This year marks the 10 year anniversary where Dr. Inouye presented the first human cases uh, uh, of you. POEM. Congratulations. <laughs> Since then, it was adopted worldwide. And under his leadership, the POEM community, all of us, have really worked hard to uh, steward this new technology safely and effectively. There's been uh, focus groups and dinners and scheduled meetings and labs and a lot of uh, collaboration traveling across the world to make sure that we do this um, safely. It's not advancing. Oh, there we go. And through our collective efforts, uh, we have published over a thousand um, peer-reviewed publications. We have definitely shown that the technique is effective at relieving dysphagia over and over and over and over again in big series. We have also retrospectively compared the poem to our surgical standard of care with superior outcomes in almost every, in every case so far. We have followed our patients long term and carefully documented how they're doing with excellent success. So I ask you, is poem still experimental? Well, we're all familiar with the levels of evidence, and how does POEM stack up? Well, level three. How about based on the uh, 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 evidence-based medicine pyramid? Fairly good, but randomized controlled trials were lacking, and that is killing us. However, there are randomized controlled trials coming, as you can see here from um, clinicaltrials.gov, from around the world, Brazil, Belgium, China, um, Prague, Germany, Italy, and more, and a few here in the United States that I know of that aren't here. So that's encouraging. However, the lack of randomized controlled trials is, is hurting us. We have noticed over the past couple of years that our poem um, numbers have been drifting a little bit. And so we wondered, is it because we're training too many people nearby, because we do have a course? <laughs> or are more people just afraid of PPIs with everything in the news, and so they are listening to our consent for a little more carefully? But when we delved into the charts, we found that that is not actually the case. It is, the decision is being made by insurance. This is Regents, this is our big thorn in the, in the side of the Pacific Northwest, and they consider POEM investigational. <clears throat> this is based, despite pages and pages and pages of literature review in their policy, their final conclusion is based mainly on this, a 2011 statement by Sages saying that the POEM technique is in its infancy, which it was in 2011, true statement, and the uh, ACG 2013 requesting randomized control trials. However, now the AGA has come up with an update. In brief, they say that POEM should be performed by experts. It should be considered primary therapy for type 3 achalasia. It should be considered a treatment option comparable to lap heller. And of course, we should be diligent and responsible about the risk of esophagitis, which is well, well described. So is POEM still experimental or perhaps are insurance companies practicing medicine without a license? When you talk to the insurance companies about this, they are absolutely not helpful. I'm sure many of you would agree. So then I look to the law and that's pretty unhelpful too because the term experimental is ambiguous. I did, however, find something in the uh, case law called Heasley factors, which I, is the equivalent of our uh, levels of evidence, really, which says that uh, the law looks to <clears throat> judgment of other insurers, what other people are doing, namely CMS. They want to see experience, which is reasonable, and demonstrated effectiveness. However, the kicker is they take into account the rates with no treatment or an alternative treatment. So therefore, limiting patients to a lap heller or balloon dilation is probably not considered practicing medicine without a license or malfeasance in any way. 
So is poem still experimental? Well, this is my answer. No, it's safe and effective based on 10 years of experience and many thousands of patients, so there. But, however, it, you really have to go with who you're asking. The insurance companies want RCTs, they want long-term outcomes, and they hide behind the veil of CMS. The judges are not helpful, they just listen to the experts in their courtroom, so whoever happens to be there. And then we, of course, are thoughtful, we want substantial experience with efficacy, safety, peer-reviewed journals, we want supportive society guidelines, it's all over the place. So is POEM still experimental? Well, if I was to be totally objective, I must say, until we get some randomized control trials, it largely depends on who you ask. Thank you very much.